Well, good afternoon, my YouTube friends. It's Margaret again from Emmy's Orchids, and um, we're looking at uh, Cattleya Pink, Pink Empress. <coughs> and uh, when this first opened, the first couple of days, I didn't detect any smell whatsoever. But now it's very highly perfumed, and um, I thought I'd just measure it, um, if it'd allow me to. <coughs> From there, it's a good five inches. There. There. And let's have a look. From there to there, four inches. Now, what, <clears throat> what can I say about this bloom? Look in there. It's absolutely lovely. And then uh, on the frilly lip, um, it's much deeper. It's like um, a very deep mauve. And the, like I say, I can smell the perfume from here. Now, this has just been watered. <coughs> And uh, I'm, I'm filming this again because um, I'm, this is the first time blooming. I'm not sure how long these blooms will actually uh, last. So that's uh, Cattleya Pink Empress. And if we go over to this one now. <coughs> now this one's Catacetum Pileatum Yellow Giant. Look, I've knocked a little... One of these things up here. Can you see them? And uh, this one's already starting to go over. I know they don't last very long. Um, see, that's the lip. And then you've got the, I'm assuming that's the petal. And that's the sepal. You see, I can't. Um, I can't bring this one up because I'm going to damage it. But let's just um, look at the size of this one. Three inches. And let's have a look how far we go down. Four, four and a half inches. See that one's fully opened. It's like an alien. Really, truly is. Just like an alien. And then, of course, you've got this one here. And I described the um, the smell as uh, when you crack open fresh peas. It's slightly um, sweeter smelling. You know, like when you taste, when you smell the peas when they've come out of the pod. It smells like that now. But, there we go. I'm trying to keep, keep out of the way so you can see the depth of the yellow. There, see? And we've got... These are the buds to open yet. And of course, Yen 24K. This is ready to be watered. As was that one. I'm in the middle of a watering session at the moment. But um, this one's still very fragrant. This is actually showing a lot darker, the frill, than you can actually show on, um, on camera. You see? That was a, a three inch, a little three inch bloom. There we go. So, uh, Quite chuffed with that, and of course, this has been flowering the longest. And then, uh, <clears throat> so that's one, two, three. And I've got to be careful here because I'm in the middle of watering, and that's the uh, uh, Caesis lemingii. Look at those buds dropping. So that's got to uh, 
Those have got to come yet. I'm going to step down, watching where I go. It's like an obstacle course in here. And uh, of course, we've got buds developing on that. Uh, no idea, nobly. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Let's put the ruler down for a minute. And uh, oh, this one here, this is still um, flowering. This uh, Yafon Green Canary. I checked all these yesterday. So, what I do now, um, just to uh, enable me to not be pressurised into uh, specific days for watering. Um, I do some at a time. And this is what I wanted to ask, if anybody sees it. Now this has been in dormancy, this is another catacetum. This is from uh, Mark, this is catacetum Orchid Glade, Orchid Glade David Ranches. Dropped all its leaves, there we go, you see. And uh, it's dry as a bone, gone into its autumn rest. But look, can you see? There. Now, I don't know. Let's turn around to get a bit more light. I don't know whether that's. Um, a new growth starting because there's that white root there start has just emerged. I mean, I saw this the other day and I put it back under the shelf because I thought, well, you know, I don't really know what it is. But then I thought today, well, while I just do a video just to show you the size of these. Uh, Cattleya blooms. I thought I'd just show you that. I mean, I don't know whether that's going to develop into a flower spike. I mean, uh, it's dropped all its leaves. It's got a nice big thick bulb. And this one's just coming from under there. One, it would make, make me think that it's... Um, a new growth. I mean, some of them don't actually have a long winter rest, so, but I'm not sure about this. So what I'm going to do after, I'm going to take the label down. There we are. I'm going to take my label down. Oh, I can't. Uh, I'm going to... There we go. I'm going to check it on the internet. And then... Uh, I'll be able to determine then whether it's going to be a uh, a new growth or it's going to be a, a spike developing. Now all these ones in the little pots here, they all got watered. These will all have to be watered tomorrow. Those get watered by hand. Check them individually. You see I've got one down there. And that's Delosa. I've got the Cattleyas in this one. I've got them everywhere and I've got them hanging. That's where, what happens is they hang till they dry enough to, uh, to put back. And uh, I was just checking on that one then. That's um, Leodora. Palinopsis Leodora. Anyway. Just a quick video today. Thank you for joining me and I'll be back soon. Bye bye now.